welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a super wonderful day, wonderful night, wherever you are watching this. So in today's video, if you have watched my other videos, you know that I'm on vacation currently and I found a couple of thrift stores and garage sales and outdoor thrift stores. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of film them and show you what I got. <music> bell like comment and share and let's get into the video we're currently going into dollarama right now um to just get a few things and then the store is literally right beside it It's like what I was talking about how the Columbia like fleece. Yeah. So now I'm back at my home. I'm back from vacation, but um, it's really sad, but I absolutely loved my vacation. Sadly, I didn't get to do that many vlogs with tubing because we couldn't even go because it was actually really cold up there. So we spent a lot of time in town and shopping. So that's why I went thrifting. Right here, I have the Value Village bag. I did go to a Value Village, that's where I filmed, but I also went to like an outdoor thrift store in the little town where my cottage is. Um, and I picked up some things. It's basically you fill up a bag for $5 and we had the ginormous Ikea ones and we just filled it up with things. I ended up getting only a few things and my mom got a few things. So I'm gonna do those things first. There's no clothing in there, it's kind of just items. And I'm gonna move into the Value Village haul. And I'm so sorry that I look um, hideous right now. We came home yesterday and I've been unpacking and doing laundry all day. So just don't mind that. I just really wanted this video out for you guys. First thing that I got in my $5 bag was this absolute beautiful sun hat. I don't, I don't know if you can see, but there's not a flaw in it. It literally looks brand new and it has this super cute 
like little um green floral bow on it with matching brim i, I can't put it on right now because i have a high bun but it is so comfy too and it's perfect because i have to keep my face out from the sun because i'm on accutane so i thought that this was like perfect the next item that i have is yarn i actually found yarn there this was the only like yarn that was still with the label so that's why i got it because i didn't want to get um, another one that if I needed the same color or anything like that, I couldn't find it. So I got this Burnett Blanket one. Um, it's like these really cool olive green tones and I thought I could make maybe like a multicolored frog out of it or something like that. So if you do not know, I'm into crocheting. I actually have an Etsy shop where I sew my crochet. You should go check that out. It's linked down in the description box. The next thing that I got from my five in my five dollar bag is this absolute gorgeous guess shoulder bag. I don't know if you're on Pinterest if you're seeing these trends right now, but little shoulder bags like this that um are like animal print are super in right now and i can't believe i got this in a five dollar bag like what like it's in really good condition too like look at that there's like no scratches on the g and inside look at that like the inside is like a bit dirty but it's like not even that bad the last thing that i got in the five dollar bag it's just some fabric they had a whole bit of fabric but some of it was stained but um i got this fabric it's way bigger i don't know how big it is but it's like folded a couple times um and i just thought that this fabric was super fun um i thought that i could put it in maybe one of my crochet bags i could make maybe a pillow out of it maybe some fun summer headband something like that so I just got it, put it in the bag, literally did not take up any room. So I was super happy that I got this too. Now moving on to the actual value village haul and what I got. First thing I, I got are these green Jessica Simpson shoes. These are absolutely adorable. I'm going to input videos of me wearing the clothing and shoes and accessories um, so you can see um, what they look like. But these are a size 5. And they were exactly my feet, and guess what? How much they were? They were three ninety nine, three ninety nine, three dollars and ninety nine cents. And if you live in Canada and you go to Value Village, you know that that is really cheap because the Value Villages here are like super expensive. They're absolutely beautiful and were for sure worth the four bucks. The next thing I got is this little like scarf. I know that browns right now are in so much. So this cute little um, scarf, I thought that could be a really cute statement piece on maybe like a little handbag or maybe like around your neck. Um, you can even put this on like a little night table that you have and like fold it acting as like a placemat if you have any browns in your room and it really will tie it in. This was $4.99 so I feel, I feel like that's kind of expensive for a used scarf and it's not even that big. I tried to find a brand on it um, and it doesn't have one so I'm not sure what kind of brand this is. But you know what, I just thought it was so cute and I love how it has some shiny um, tones and then some matte tones. I thought that that was really cute. Next thing is this super cute like throw over. You can't really tell but it has these short sleeves and with some little ruffles. And it's kind of like a cover up for on the beach or you can even wear a tank top under this. And it, it goes like on you and then you can either leave the sides long or tie them in the front and then in the back. Um, I'll show you like it um, in the videos like different ways, but it has these super cute floral prints on it And I just thought like I had to have this and especially for the price the price of this was $4.99 and it was Streetwear society. I don't know if that's like a good brand. I've never heard of that personally, but hey $4.99 next thing was a little bit on the pricier side, but it's this super cute like um i don't know, like striped blue and white little blouse um 
I can style this so many ways. You can style this just wearing this normally with some jean shorts and a bathing suit underneath. You can style this maybe with some high-waisted jeans and tuck them in. You can high-waist it even with wearing a dress and then just tie it at the front. There's literally so many ways you can wear these and I absolutely loved the pattern of this. This was $10.99 so it is more expensive but it's from the brand j crew now i believe that is an expensive brand so i think that's why it was so expensive it was super cheap for what i thought it was going to be but if you again look on pinterest or any trends or anything like that you know that fleece hoodies right now are in so much and i've always wanted one but i can't find one that's like cheap oversized fleece hoodie it has like a collar which i absolutely love but it does not have a hoodie it's like you'll see in the video but it's super like oversized and you can style this so much maybe with some uh bathing suit underneath or with some shorts you can even pair this just with some jogging pants if you want to stay warm at the fire or when you're camping or anything like that price of this was $4.49 $4.49 and it's an extra large um this is women's and it's from joe fresh so i think that's why it's so cheap because joe fresh is a cheaper brand last but not least i got this was for sure the most expensive thing that i got but it is this hot pink bubble jacket it is a size small in women's and it was 20.49 so it was over 20 bucks which is expensive um and it's brand orbo boss or oro boss oro boss i think that's it i'll show it to you um but yeah it's actually really nice it's brand new not even used it's so in trend right now with these bright colors i just thought that this was super like in trend right now and it's also very practical for the places that i like going and especially in canada we're getting a lot of rain right now where i live um so i just thought that this was really cute well thank you so much for watching i hope you have loved my vacation vlog so far there was only i think this is the last one there's only three there's the packing with me there's the fishing one and then there's this thrifting one that's the end of the video make sure to like subscribe and comment and i'll see you in my next video